Our other award is the Valedictorian Award. Um, Valedictorian awards are usually given to the student with the highest GPA um, over the last four years of secondary school or the four years of an American high school. And this year, the, the student has um, excelled himself um, in, in every aspect. Uh, five A stars at IGCSE and two A's. Um, the IGCSE best award in Thailand for combined science and for physical education. Um, one can go on about his academic achievements, but uh, as Mr. Dave said, he is one that typifies many of the qualities that students have in this year group. Uh, great musician, um, great cyclist, um, um, great sense of humour, and so on. It gives me, again, great pleasure to award the, um, the valedictorian this year to Toby. Before I say anything though, I would like to stress the importance of all those who are seated here today, especially our teachers and parents. These invaluable people have given us the opportunity to be on this stage today, and for that I think we should all give them a round of applause. Now, as I anticipated, standing here in front of you all is quite a rush. But when I look out in front of me, I see people who over the past 14 years, I have grown very, very close to. So close that I'd like to share a dream I've had. No, not that dream, but very <laughs> This dream is probably similar to a dream all of you sitting here today have had or will have at some point in your life. The dream that you would be standing on this stage wearing these funny geometrically shaped hats with these cat toys <laughs> in front of all our proud parents, teachers, and friends with big smiles and tears in our eyes. For in that dream, we would be able to say, I made it, Mom and Dad! <laughs> Today is the day that I get to live out that dream of finally graduating and moving on. And I couldn't be more honored to share this experience with you guys. 2012. We have laughed together, we have smiled together, we have shared deeply intellectual conversations over which actor or actress is the most attractive. <laughs> we have cried together, argued together, and shared some pretty bodacious times together. <laughs> However, as I speak in front of you all, I have realized that there are a few differences between that dream and today. For one, you're all fully clothed. And there's no rainbow or unicorns running about, but more importantly, in that dream, there was a thought that I wouldn't be able to hold back tears. Not only tears of joy, but tears from the fact that we have reached the end of our adolescent and our time together, our adolescent years and our time together as a class. But that is not the case today, and Dr. Seuss couldn't have given a better reason why. And that is, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. All the memories that we've shared together, I should see smiling for the whole summer. Yes. But I've got university to end. <laughs> memories of the plays and dances we did when we were little tiny toddlers, of all the sports teams we were in. Memories of all our field trips, of our leadership course, of us winning the battle of the bands, 
losing the Battle of the Bands, but then winning it again. <laughs> Memories of our trip to the zoo last week, which sparked the revelation we're never too old for the zoo. <laughs> And of course, memories of us failing together. Not only failing tests, but failing to wake up on time and actually come to school. <laughs> memories of all the embarrassing mistakes we've made, like spilling cow soy all over our uniform. Or constantly forgetting our class schedule, even though we've been at school for a whole year. Or the time we figured out that studying might actually help. And of course, memories of our bond and love and friendship that will remain intact forever. These memories are more important than today, more important than this hat and this gown. For these memories will form the future lawyers, doctors, and businessmen, and cyclists, and 7-Eleven executives sitting here today. <laughs> Throughout these past 14 years, we have gained so much knowledge. Not only textbook knowledge of dreadful and painful mathematical equations, but we have gained the knowledge of life we were taught to throw out those store-bought maps and to create our own maps to draw with our understanding. And by doing so, we have learned to love living. And oh boy, have we been living well, class of 2012. But living is something infectious and something that you cannot fake and something that I can see in all of your faces today. During these past years, we have been inspired by our teachers and our parents and of course, each other. And we will continue to be inspired, not only by others around us, but especially by ourselves. When I was younger, smaller, and immature, running around the halls of Lana, my source of inspiration primarily would only come from the likes of my beautiful mother, who would tell me things like, Toby, you are the most handsome boy in school, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> But as I have grown older, I have learned to find inspiration myself, especially through personal ventures. I have been taught to look past my boundaries and to achieve things that I knew would be possible if I put my heart into it. And you guys have been taught that as well, believe me. I've also grown taller and I think I'm still handsome. <laughs> All I'm saying is that we should all be smiling and be thankful for all the priceless lessons and memories we have gathered these past years. They have allowed my dream of standing here to come true, and they will give you guys, class of 2012, the capability to inspire yourselves and the ability to live out your dreams. Greatness is not only achieved by those rare and special people. I believe it's quite simple. Greatness is achieved by making sure you've had great memories and that you will continue to create even more magnificent memories that will live on until the stars fall out the sky. So class of 2012, I love you and keep it real. Toby out.